What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Subside and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a zero tick unlimited bone meal farm. Now this is an AFK bone meal farm so all you need to do is flick the lever, let it run, that's going to automatically give you unlimited bone meal. And this can be expanded for as big as you want basically, so we've got, like you can see here, four pistons in a row with the kelp underneath. This is going to be four composters all working at once, you can see the rates are a lot quicker with this one. And technically, you could make it as big as this zero tick sugarcane farm if you wanted to. Although I probably don't recommend it because that's going to break a lot and this it's just going to lag. And it's been a while. It's been a couple of days. <laughs> I've been a bit ill, so I haven't been making videos. But it's starting to feel better again now. So hopefully we can get videos back on track on a regular basis. And maybe something other than tutorials too. So stick around. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Help us get to 10,000 subscribers. Now, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So first things first with this build, you need to make sure it's built within one chunk because if it's, if this crosses over one chunk, then it's going to break a lot. This, the sand's going to fall down and you're not going to get the zero tick kelp. So for example, if I flick this switch, you can see every tick is producing kelp off each plant. Now this is a glitch and sometimes it does break. All you need to do is replace the sand and then make sure no sand's fallen down below underneath these pistons through this gap. This gap needs to be clear. So. If you've built any of my kelp XP farms in the past, you'll know how this works. But if you haven't, make sure it's built within one chunk. To do that, you can go onto chunkbase.com, enter your seed in, and it'll show you the coordinates for each chunk in your area. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this singular chunk one, or this single plant one. Like I said, it can be expanded for as long as you want. I recommend no more than four in a row. But I'll show you how to build the smaller one, which still works pretty well. Like I say, you just flick the switch. This produces kelp every tick, which goes through your composter into your chest, producing bone meal. And for this build, all you're going to need is two kelp, one slab, three sand, one standard piston, one sticky piston, one redstone repeater, three torches, one chest, three hoppers, two glass panes, four redstone dust, one water bucket, one lever, one composter, and about a stack of any building block you want. So we're going to start by building our redstone clock. So what you're going to do is find a nice open space, dig one block down and miss a block and then one block down in the first block you want to place a redstone torch against the middle block like so so don't place it on the floor if you place it here it's not going to work place it on the side and then in the next one you're going to place down some redstone dust grab your solid blocks what you're going to do is put one on top of the redstone dust on top of the torch and then a redstone repeater in between making sure you're facing the redstone dust. You know that's worked because the redstone repeater will start flashing. Now grab your lever, place it on the block and turn it off. So that should leave it constantly on. Next, we're gonna grab our sticky piston and we're gonna come to where the lever is and then we're gonna walk up the right-hand side of these blocks. When you get to this one, one in front, place a sticky piston facing towards you, then remove this block underneath. Come around the back and place one redstone dust here. That should extend your sticky piston so the arm is over this gap. Now this gap needs to be here or this isn't gonna work. Next, grab a redstone torch. We're gonna place it on the side of this piston. That's gonna instantly go out. Then I'm gonna fly up and we're gonna place a block on top of the torch. Torch on top of the block. Another block on top of the torch. And then one more torch on top of the block, like so. And you know you've done this part right when this top torch is turned off. Next, come behind this block. We're gonna place one on the back, one on the side, like so and then one in the front. So you've got this sort of square at the top. On this block, we're gonna place a normal piston facing towards us. It should be directly above this sticky piston. Come around the back, we're gonna place two redstone dust, one, two, going into the back of that standard piston. Next, grab yourself some sand. You're gonna need three pieces of sand. One goes in front of the sticky piston, and then you can drop two from the standard piston to land on top of this sticky piston arm. So next we're going to place down some solid blocks. So at the front of the machine, we're going to place two on top of this sand block. And we're going to surround these two blocks of sand so only the top is showing. So two there, we're going to come around the back, place two there. Around the side, place another two there. So all that should be showing for these two is this top block. And you can see it all the way around this block too. So next we're going to place three blocks on the left. So one, two, and three. On this side, one, two, and three. Grab your slab. We're going to place the slab on top like so. Come around the back. You can place a solid block then if you like on top of this piston. Just so there's no gap at the top. Next, we're going to build out one like this. 
two high on each side and then build across the top like so so next thing to do then is to place your composter so we're going to place this on this middle block here then you're going to get rid of this solid block we go into coming on the back we're going to crouch and place a hopper on top and we're going to crouch and place a hopper going into this hopper like so so you can see at the bottom this hopper goes into there and that hopper goes into this composter next place your chest one block away so next to the lever here with a hopper going into the back of that chest from this composter so next what we're going to do is place down a glass pane at the bottom here you're also going to need a button which i forgot to mention at the start but if you can grab yourself it could be a wooden button it doesn't have to be a stone one it could be any button you want just place it on the top here for now that's going to stop the water coming out grab your water bucket and we're going to come on top and we go into water log that slab so the water should come down like so once that's waterlogged inside like you can see what you're going to do is place down one block of kelp here and one kelp here so it's too high next what you want to do is be quite quick and replace this button with glass pane so remove the button and place down a glass pane so that encases it all so next all we need to do is see if this actually works so let's come down and flick the lever and perfect that's working fine so as you can see every tick kelp's been being produced it's been picked up by this hopper transferred into this hopper through the composter and then into your chest now you can expand this like i said but i wouldn't recommend expanding it any more than four blocks wide because then you're going to bump into a lot of issues and a couple of things that can go wrong with this the sand can break you don't want to leave the area whilst it's on and you don't want to leave the world whilst it's on so whilst this machine is on if i just show an example we'll come around you can stay within render distance of it and it's going to work fine but if you go into the nether or if you leave the render distance i think i've set my render distance too high on this one but if you leave the render distance and come back it's not going to work it's going to be broken and to fix that all you're going to need to do is just break the sand that's underneath replace the sand and then fix the kelp so you can see now it's not working at all because i left the render distance no sand has fallen down in this case it's quite an easy fix all you need to do is switch it off and then switch it back on and it starts working again i hope you enjoyed the video guys sorry again if i haven't uh, been posting much lately like i said i've been quite ill but we're all all well now on the, on the mend at least <laughs> and that's it for the video guys so if you did enjoy please remember to leave a like and hit that subscribe button help us get to 10,000 subscribers would be a major goal for me well thanks for watching guys i've been subside if you enjoyed remember to leave a like on the video consider subscribing and help us hit 10,000 subscribers it would mean so much and hopefully i'll see you in the next video bye